We're going to talk about the upcoming Scout Traveler SUV and Terra pickup, both set to be all electric, but here's what has everyone talking. The Scout will have an optional gasoline range extender named Harvester, which isn't your average hybrid setup. Today, we're breaking down everything we know about this tech-packed revival. Let's get started. Scout Motors is bringing something unique here. A battery electric vehicle with a gasoline-powered range extender. But what exactly does that mean? Unlike a plug-in hybrid where gas powers the wheels, Scout's harvester option is what's called a range extended EV, or REX. The gas engine doesn't drive the wheels, it charges the battery instead. This keeps you off-grid for longer while enjoying the power of a full EV. So, let's get into the details. Scout's CEO hinted that their range extending model will have about 500 miles of total range compared to 350 miles for the purely electric model. They'll achieve this by having a slightly smaller battery than the all-electric version, freeing up space for the gas engine and fuel tank. The big question is what kind of engine could power this range extender? To give you some perspective, the BMW i3 had a 647cc two-cylinder as its range extender. It's not the size Scout would need for a vehicle like this. It needs much bigger engine. They showed this image that gives us some clues. I think Scout will likely use a compact, three-cylinder engine from Volkswagen. Why? Let's go back to that image I mentioned. You can see three distinct elements, which might hint at a three-cylinder setup. A small three-cylinder engine could help keep it compact and reduce noise and vibration, and Volkswagen already has an engine family that fits this description. However, to generate enough power, they may need to increase the displacement or even use premium fuel. Now, let's talk about the design and layout. In the cutaway image, the range extender engine OT the generator is positioned at the rear, while there's a fuel filler neck up front. Scout confirmed that the rev version will still have a front trunk, or frunk, so the fuel tank likely sits closer to the battery. We're probably looking at a small fuel tank up front near the battery at floor level, with the three-cylinder engine tucked at the rear. The compact design should keep the vehicle light and nimble, preserving its off-road capabilities. A compact three-cylinder engine in the rear would allow Scout to maintain the off-road capabilities of the full EV model, like its departure angle. Scout's approach here is impressive. They're keeping the heritage alive, even with that harvester name, paying homage to the original International Harvester Scout. This option is for those who want the best of both worlds. The efficiency and torque of an EVE with the flexibility of gasoline when you're miles from a charging station. Production of this new Scout is set for 2027, so we still have time before all the specs are finalized. Right now, it looks like the gasoline tank will be close to the front and may require premium fuel for maximum efficiency. Scout is still testing, so they may make adjustments to optimize both power and efficiency. All right, that's a wrap on what we know so far about Scout's upcoming range extended EV. Between the retro design, powerful off-road capabilities, and innovative approach with a range extender, Scout is truly stepping up in the off-road EV game. I'll keep you updated as more details emerge on this rugged revival. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Are you excited to see the Scout back in action? And, as always, hit that thumbs up if you think this rugged Scout looks as good as it performs. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more on the return of this off-road icon.